Hey guys. Hello. Hi, how are you doing? Uh, fine. Thank nice you. To how see about you? you? Again. Hello, good evening. Hi, good evening. Welcome, everyone. I'm doing all right. Well Hello. Done. How was your day? In my case, it was busy because I I ha I was in my office trying to do a lot of things, but very well. Thank you. What time did you get off work? You say you were busy today in the office, right? What time did you get off work? I'm sorry? What time did you get off work? What time? Uh, from 8 to 5 p.m. Ah, okay. Well, you don't finish too late anyway. No, no. Uh, anybody else who wants to share? Teacher, yeah. me, me, uh, I, wrote, I wrote in the WhatsApp group that uh, I, wanted, I wanted you to help me because uh, my platform is blocked and I had not, I, can, I cannot enter since the first day. Mm -hmm. I haven't gotten in. Oh, really? Hold on. Yep. Mm -hmm. My platform. Oh yeah, I see it here. Wait, well, try to enter again. So you haven't been able to access the platform at all? No. All right, you. I cannot help you with that, to be honest. But I will send you a. I will send the the contact information again, and they can help you unblock it or help you out, guide you through whatever you have to do. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Um, I'm going to send it to you directly because, well, here it is. Your, sorry, guys. Let me send this because it's important. If you could message him right now, I don't think he's going to answer because it's late. But if you could do that right now, then there, I forwarded his message to you. Okay. Thank you. You're welcome. Guys, could you turn the cameras on, please? I don't see Gerardo, Wilbur, Iris, Blanca, Carlos, oh, yeah. Alfaro. Yeah. Ah, that's you, Wilbur. Okay. No, I remember yep. your face, but not your your name. So sometimes, right. either or. <laughs> sometimes I recognize your voices. <laughs> so sometimes the faces. Okay, I see Carlos now, Gerardo and Blanca. Please let me uh, My camera is broken, sorry. Oh, who's Blanca? All right. But yeah, now it's yeah. on you, so, and I know. Thank you. <laughs> so let's get back to business. Let's see how to use adjective and nouns to make comparisons. I don't know if this is the one we watched. How is everyone with the platform? Up to date? Yes? Are you up to date with it? Uh, I, I will be up to date tomorrow. Oh, Wilbur, yeah. <laughs> I know. Okay, so comparisons with verbs and past participles. Let's watch this one. Be ready to take notes. Okay. Have your notebook ready, pen, and let's watch. Hi, everyone. By the end of this class, you'll be able to compare different jobs using verbs and past participles. For example, let's say that you would like to compare the job of a doctor and a medical assistant. Um, and to do that, you can say the following. A doctor earns more than a nurse. Or you could say that a doctor is better trained than a medical assistant or a nurse. Similar to our previous class, we will we'll be making comparisons between two jobs, with the only exception that this time we'll be using verbs and participles. And let me build on that previous example that I gave you. And the first thing we're going to do is we're going to compare using verbs, as you can see. Well, uh, first of all, what are some... So last time, what were we comparing, guys? Do you remember? Were we comparing verbs? Adjectives and... Nouns. Adjectives and nouns. Adjectives and nouns. Uh-huh, we were comparing adjectives, right? Now we're going to compare verbs. Okay. 
some common work-related verbs that we can think of. Of course, there are many, but what we want to do in this case is we want to think about a few right so that we can first. outline the examples here. Uh, and so let me just point this ones out right now. Um, okay, so if we think about verbs that have to do with work, we can think of um, earn, travel, or work, right? Uh, and so how do we make comparisons using verbs? Well, as I mentioned previously, what we did was we said that um, a doctor right, earns more money than a, a nurse. So if, if we look at the uh, words that we use, we can say doctor earns, so we're going to put uh, we're going to put the bird there before uh, the more. Okay. Uh, similarly, we could express this in a different way. So let's say we wanted to make a negative sentence. We want to say a nurse doesn't earn more money than a doctor. We're literally saying exactly the same thing, but it's just a different way of putting it, right? Now, um, let's say that we compare two jobs that pretty much earn just about the same thing. Um, this, of course, is not true in many cases, but we can probably say that uh, a teacher earns as much as a police officer. Now this obviously I think this depends on the country. I think that uh, in some cases um, in some cases a teacher may earn more in certain it depends it also depends what kind of teacher but a teacher earns as much as a police officer you can say so what we're saying here is that they are pretty much on the same level as you can see right um, and uh, that's another expression that you can use. So then again, um, what I'm pointing out at this point is that I am making comparisons using uh, using the verbs, right? So uh, in this case, these are the things that I want to emphasize. Uh, so I'm using that particular verb there, right? Um, I could have added here, earned a teacher earns as much uh, money as a police officer, but if I simply said earns as much as a police officer. We're already kind of like understand what we mean by that. So what I want to do next is continue with this idea, but now I want to make the comparison using past participles. Um, a lot of times we're going to find that the comparison can be basically the same thing if you use verbs and if you use past participles, almost the same thing. Um, so if you, I want you to look at the example here at the very top, doctor earns more money than a nurse. Well, you can express that idea by simply saying a doctor is better paid than a nurse. Right? So we want to compare the doctor and also the nurse. And uh, literally, we're saying the same thing. However, we use um, a slightly different structure there. Instead of the uh, verb in the uh, present tense, we use the uh, past participle of, in this case, the verb pay. Um, and if we want to make the comparison between the teacher and the police officer, and we want to s express that they are kind of like on the same level as far as pay, then we can simply say um, a teacher is as well paid as a police officer. Okay, um, but with the only difference is that now we're using past participles to make these comparisons. So the last challenge that I have for you in this particular lesson is to make the comparison between two jobs any job, but uh, just to give you a quick example of what I want you to do, uh, we're going to make the comparison between a doctor and a nurse, 
And what I would like for you to do is to use adjectives to compare the two jobs and also use nouns to compare them, uh, use verbs and past participles. So what could be an example of a doctor versus a nurse? Well, you can say pretty much anything, like I mentioned in previous classes. When we think about comparisons, these are all opinions. So we can say doctors, um, working as a doctor is more interesting than working as a nurse. A doctor has worse hours than a nurse. That's if I'm comparing the noun. A doctor earns more money than a nurse. And that's if I'm using a verbs. Uh, I could say um, doctor is better paid than a nurse. Um, and so what you want to do is use uh, what you learned in the previous lesson when we talked about comparisons with adjectives and nouns and what you are learning in this current lesson, um, which is that you are making comparisons using verbs and also past participles. So do that uh, for um, this jobs that you see here. Once again, I'll be publishing this document so you can check it out and have easy access to it and attempt to use adjectives, nouns, verbs, and past participles. OK, I was writing some ideas for you uh, while watching the video. I hope you were taking notes. You were? Yes? Yes, I did. <laughs> OK, yeah, awesome. Sure. Amazing. So, look, I will give you some verbs so you can add them, right? Because we're going to start comparing. Uh, verbs are going to be cook, for example, travel, read. I'll give you some work-related verbs as well that you may not know. A couple of them. Uh, make reports. Call. All right. Um, these are verbs that you're going to use for the comparisons to make them. Do you know the meaning of hand in? No? Um, no. No. Okay, imagine you have homework, right? And we're in a physical classroom. And I say, guys, can you hand in your homework, please? It would be doing something like this. I don't know if you can see me. Um, hold on. It would be doing something like this. Here you go. That's to hand in. So it's to give, right? To give. To give something. Yeah. Give or to show, maybe? Um, it's what we say in Spanish, we say presentar. So, like, tomorrow I need mm -hmm. to hand in a report to my boss, for example, right? So, it's to give with your hands, or it will be a synonym of send if you're going to send it digitally, right? But hand in is more like physical. Give a presentation and earn. So these verbs you're going to use. You can use any verb, but I'm giving you some ideas on how to compare. All right. Then another one is participle adjectives. So I think that we didn't have as many examples in the video, right? No, only paid. Only paid, exactly. What other adjectives can you think of? So imagine that you guys entertain me somehow, right? <laughs> that means mm -hmm. I'm entertained by you. So the the participle adjective is something that someone else is causing you or something else is causing you. So when you're paid, somebody else is paying you, right? You're not paying yourself, okay? So you can think of, of that. For example, respect. Can somebody else respect you? Yes, right? Yeah, what's the adjective? If Respectful. everybody respects... Respectful. Mm, uh -huh, we have two things here. We have respectful, but this is not, there is not an inter interaction here. You are respectful, but that's it. Okay, no. The one that I'm looking for, that's still an adjective, is respected. respected. Yes. Uh -huh. If you are respected, that means everyone respects you. Okay. That's the participle, right? That's the participle adjective. Oh. Exactly. All right. For example, you can say exploited. <laughs> Some, some employees are exploited, right? We have to be realistic. Some other employees are exposed, <laughs> meaning that they're exposed to the public. For example, politicians are exposed, right? They have to go on 
TVs. Uh, questioned. Who do you think are the most questioned professions? The ones that have public charge. Journalists. Journalists are questioned. Okay. Politicians. Politicians, Politicians. are questioned. Politicians. Right. Teachers. Uh, they, but you know what? We're not questioned. We are asked a lot of questions. Yeah, yeah maybe we can say we're questioned. And then interviewed. For example, celebrities, right, are interviewed often. You can um, think of more examples. Sorry? The guy in the video say uh, uh, training. Ah, trained. Okay, we can add Our that trained. one. Trained. And you can think of more. So we're going to write one with the verbs and one with the adjectives. And then you're going to do it on your own. So first one, we're, let's compare a... An actor versus, help me out guys, let me see, versus a secretary. Okay. Versus a singer. Versus a singer. a singer. I like that because you can make it equal, right? Remember for equal, what are we going to use? As. 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 Very, good. Very good. So a, an actor. Uh -huh, one of the verbs. An actor. An actor uh, earns as much as a singer. Uh, let's use another verb. I like it, but we already saw that in the uh, video. Uh, travel? Travel. Travels. 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 Yes, okay. More than... As a singer? A singer? The same as thing. As a singer. Sing as much as a singer. singer. Very good. So here's another dilemma. We can say as much as, or we can say as many as, okay? As many as. So if we're talking about traveling, can we say many? Is it countable? No, right? No. So we're saying as much because it's not countable. All right. I will give you another example. Uh, with <coughs> an actor, let's teacher, try to use as teacher. many. Yeah. Uh, would you repeat please uh, the difference between much and many, please? Yeah, sure. So as much is for something you cannot count on countable, and as many like is- Like a respect. Uh-huh, you cannot count respect. Like a respect. Yeah. So, but countable, like the salary, for example. Sorry? Many is, uh, as much is, for example, if you're comparing the respect, but as many if you're comparing how much, how many uh, the actor earns, for example. Mm, no, how much you make is much, because you always say, how much does this cost? How much money do you make? Money is not countable. You don't say I have three monies, okay. do you? I have yeah. five monies. No, so money is not countable. It's much. Okay. okay. But don't get okay. confused. Gerardo, right now, let's focus on this, but we're talking about verbs, only verbs right now, not adjectives. We're going to get there in a second. Uh, okay. I know this is confusing, but with practice, you can get it. All right, look at this. So I'm using as much, right? In here, I will use... Um, as many, hold on, hold on, here I will use as many, okay? So an actor has, you think that they have as many interviews as a singer or they don't? It's possible. <laughs> it is the same, I think. Okay, as many interviews. Can I say three interviews? Is it countable? Yes, yeah. they're countable. Yes. Yeah. So in this case, it's countable and I'm using as many interviews as a singer, okay? So that is the difference. Is that clear, Gerardo? There it is. I didn't hear you if you said something. I'm clear, thanks. It's clear? 
All right, awesome. Yeah. So we're comparing verbs. What is a verb here? Travel. 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 Okay, Travel. we cannot count it. And the verb here is? Has. 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 So yeah, we can count Has. at least interviews. We can count, right? Now, um, let's see adjectives. Adjectives is exactly the same that we're, you were doing last night. It's just a different type of adjective, right? So we're going to say, mm, maybe an actor is more exposed than a singer. More exposed than a singer. Than a singer. It's about the same. Okay, but that is your opinion, it's okay. I think that an actor is as exposed as a singer. I think it's the same, maybe. Okay, let's compare um, respected. Okay, politicians versus... Doctor. Versus doctors, okay. So what can we say? Are they as Doc respected? Mm -hmm. No. no, I think no. A doctor is, doctor more, is more respected, respected than, than a, a politician. politician. Doctors are more respected than politicians. politicians. And that's about it. Okay, so I will send you that. Can you take a screenshot of this, please, and send it to a group? Because this is going to help you as a guide. Okay, I would like you to think of comparisons. Guys, you can only discuss, it's okay, but I would highly recommend you to write them. Okay, because this is very confusing and we're not going to study this a lot, probably tomorrow we're going to finish this topic, if not tonight, so this is your only chance, okay? So discuss, try to make some questions. I will send you the same pictures I sent you last night, but this time try to use verbs and participial adjectives. Okay, are you ready? Yes. Yeah, you can compare the professions in the pictures or any professions you can think of. All right. So let's work in groups of three. Here we go. Two or three. All right. Accept the invitation, please. I sent it right now. I just sent it. <laughs> okay, so okay. yeah. Is... Did you get the pictures? Yeah, I already have it. I took some notes. Uh, yeah, me too. <laughs> so we need to make. You <laughs> went off. Oh, good. Okay. okay. So yeah. now we have to discuss about uh, professionals. And the verbs, right? Or the okay, participle. Yes. yes. Do you want to start, Iris? Yes. Uh, just let me choose one profession. <laughs> uh, waiter and police officer. Yes, waiter yes. and police officer. Yes. Uh, you say that we have to use verbs, right? Yeah, a police. Yeah. A police. Lot is more explorer than a bus driver. Is that right? Yeah. What do you think? It is right. Yeah, that's right. Okay. That's right. Exploited, though. Exploited. Exploited. Yeah. Exploded. Sorry? Yeah. I understand you. I can hear you. 
Hmm. Oh, well, my, my first example would be a, a painter. Has Marsh has a secretary, maybe? Say it again. I know that is correct. And uh, a teacher earns as much as a secretary. Yeah, you can say that. I mean, okay. it's automatically corrected it. <laughs> okay. <laughs> and what the teacher wants, that we practice. Okay. Do you have questions here? <laughs> no? We have. We have to use the verbs who travel with or whatever. Any verbs, but those are some suggestions in case you run out of ideas. Okay. Yeah. Okay. So compare and say who travels more, is it the same, uh, who gives more presentations. Okay, write them down and then also compare the adjectives. Who is more okay. exposed or as questioned and so on. Okay. Um, pay than a, a nurse. Yeah, could be, could be. Okay, uh, a fireman is more respected than a singer. Mm, oh yes, yes, totally. A, a pilot. A pilot. Um, a pilot travels. Travels more than a journalist, definitely. More than a journalist, of course. And the last one, using the participle. But is uh, adjective uh, or, or, or verb, verb, past participle teacher? No, this is a, a participle adjective. It's not a verb. Okay. Yeah. Exposed, questioned. Yeah, it, it's like both. Exposed, exposed, exposed questioning. Sorry. sorry. What? Yeah, it's like a verb, but being used as an adjective. For example, I am entertained or I am exploited. So it functions as both. It's kind of a verb. That's why it's called participle. Okay. So respected exploit exploiter. Um, a tailor and a teacher. I think a t a tailor um works more. Let me see more. Um, well, a tailor works is more stressful than um uh, which one did i say a teacher okay what I maybe, think Taylor maybe the whole day. you can uh, start saying oh yes <laughs> of course maybe you can say working uh, working as a uh, tailor you were saying you say a german a tailor yeah, yes. yeah, that's true. Mm -hmm. Working as a tailor is more stressful than uh, than being teacher. Uh huh. <laughs> <laughs> I think that's not. What I you see said. that the teacher is only looking <laughs> up. <laughs> I think that's not what you said initially, but okay. <laughs> uh, Wilbur, you can say yeah, working is more stressful. Or the way he was trying to say it, Iris, he said um. At, you're saying a tailor? A tailor? Okay. So a tailor's job, you can say. Tailor's job is more stressful or working as a tailor. But mm -hmm. not a table's mm -hmm. work. At a tailor's work. It is a tailor job. Job. Mm -hmm. Okay. Or working as a tailor right. is more mm -hmm. stressful, stressful than working as a teacher. Exactly. Okay. Is a stressful 
as being a as being a some the string is more stressful the military uh, but, the uh, but but in right now in the quarantine they both are are exposed. Yeah, both are stressful. <laughs> both are, uh, are uh, Um, I think oh. I can I can say that. Okay, do you like Good. it? <laughs> no, 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 I it's, it's a lie. No, it's just, it's uh, just uh, example. Uh, okay, okay. Yeah. <laughs> We're <are> supposing. <laughs> okay. Um. Mm. Se me ha caído el hamster. Uh, I have another one. You are on mute, Raúl. <laughs> He's very inspired yeah. speaking, and you're on mute. <laughs> Hear you. We can read the link. The, the, the link. We can't read it. Oh, 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 oh. Okay. I'm so sorry. <laughs> hey, look at this example right now. Ah, <laughs> uh, yeah, yeah. No, come on. <laughs> we didn't hear your example. <laughs> Uh, yeah, um, I, I, I forgot it, but I'm gonna try again. Um, already, oh, you can see me. How many sentences were you able to make? More than 20, I guess. More than how many? 20? 20? Yep. Wow, that's a lot. Okay. That's a lot. <laughs> yeah, it worked pretty fast. All right, let's do this exercise. So uh, read the instructions, please, Glenda. Glenda. I'm sorry, I was reading it. Uh, complete the sentences using the words in parentheses. Uh -huh, for example? For example, an interior decorator is better paid than a fashion designer. Very good. Let's try to do this. Um, so, number one, Noe. Remember, you guys are on mute. So if I call your name, unmute the phone, okay, the, the microphone. Noe, go ahead. Let me see. So see what is that in front today. of the camera, Noe? Is that your hand? Ah, okay. Okay. Um, the secret agent. Uh, Travel more than a police officer. Right, make sure you're using this S, okay? Travels more, because it's singular. Leila. Travels more than a police officer. Mm -hmm. And air traffic controller's job. Can you show me? 
y contra el yo y eh, isles arti isles isles artistic than a tv director's job less artistic It's less artistic. All right, three. Um, mm -mm. Let me see who it is. Landscapers. Could you show me that? I have less education than the veterinarians okay landscapers have less education you're gonna say education right edu e edu education yes it's actually like you know manager edu it's that sound education then uh, veterinary veterinarians veterinarians Teacher, what it what is landscaper Be Be a, a landscaper, you know what a landscape is? I want to show you some landscape. Some, right. someone, someone which plants uh, flowers. We have, we have all of these landscapes, right? So that person makes sure, I uh -huh, like, you know, he's saying they, they make sure they put a nice landscape. So look. This is a landscaper. It's another landscaper. So make sure you have a pretty landscape. Like a, like gardener designers. Mm, yeah, yeah. Landscapers. They also do this. They trim the the bushes and the the trees. All of that. Everything related to you know grass, flowers, plants, bushes, trees, so on. So, um, number four, cat, Catherine, I think it is. Hi. Uh -huh. Hi. Hi. What is your last name, Cat? Oh, and I don't see you. Um, because I am in in my car. I am. Um, how do you say saliendo del trabajo? I'm getting off work. Getting off work. All right. What is your name? Catherine? Katia? Could, could you type it's Kat first? Catherine. Ah, Catherine. Catherine. All right. Yeah. And what's your last name? I'm going to change it. Make sure you change it as well. All right. If I can see. You. Alvarenga. Okay, great. So, number four, if you can do it, if you're safe. What? <laughs> if you're safe to do it. Give me the answer for number four, please. Catherine Alvarenga. Working mm -hmm. as a com comedian. It's harder to begin, harder than the end. It's harder to Working as a comedian, a public speaker. Mm -hmm. It's harder than begin. It's harder than being. Being. Oh, it's this one, right? Than being. Being. Okay, and the last one. Thank you, Catherine. Be careful. <laughs> All right, okay. next one. Misael Diaz. Okay. I can see aerobic aerobic instructors. Aerobic instructor uh, earn less than earn less than a soccer coaches. Less than soccer coaches. Yeah, the, first, the first one. The first earns less than. Yeah. Earn. No letter S because yeah. aerobic instructors is pura. Yeah. Yeah. Guys, how do you pronounce this? Veterinarians. 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 
veterinarians. Yeah, not bad. That's good. You can say that. All right, veterinarians. Awesome. But it's veterinarians or veterinarians. The, the stress is on the first syllable. So veterinarians, okay? Veterinarians. Just make sure the stress is well placed. That's it. Very good. Well done. Okay, the rest of the class, I would like you to practice speaking because we're making a lot of progress. Actually, by the end of this week, Thursday, we should be on section three. So we are ahead. I would like you to practice some questions, okay, to work on your fluency. We're going to talk about jobs since this is our trending topic right now in pre-advanced. Okay, um, you're going to start with this question. I will send you more questions, so check WhatsApp, okay? But we're going to start with this one. What is your dream job right now? And what did you want to... What did you want to be as a child? So did you want to be a, some people wanted to be police officers, for example, I, they probably gave up on that dream already. Um, as a child, I wanted to be a singer <laughs> when I was four years old. <laughs> I still want to sing, you know. So talk about this, what was your, what did you want to be as a child and what is your dream job right now, as of today, okay? Let's practice. Um, do you have any questions about this? No. No. Nope. Please, right? I will send you more questions, so please check WhatsApp, okay? But start with these questions. Go ahead. Accept the invitation. Anything. We're traveling. We're leaving. We're having a good life. <laughs> yes, of course. That is my dream job. And what about you guys? Well, in my case, my dream job uh, could be to be an inventor, you know, make some. And rings. And what uh, about you? Oh, sorry, I sorry. Think... No, it's okay. <laughs> good. Yeah. Sorry, I think it is traveler or something like that. Like, I don't know if you have seen the Alan por el Mundo. The guy who travels and makes oh. videos about and the places uh, that where he is. Uh, where... Just traveling. Yeah, <laughs> I don't know. Because I would like to be a writer, but. Um, a writing um, uh, no, I don't know how to say in English. I can help you. Tell me. Uh, movies like movie guy um, guion guion de película, for example, 
You want to be a script writer? Movie script writer? Or what? A movie script writer. A script writer, okay. Yeah, that's, that's probably the name. Like, yes, like uh, George Lucas or, or like um, uh, the, 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 the woman uh, who write uh, Twilight. Yeah. It's a dream job. <laughs> yeah, it's script writer, no? It's script writer. Ah, oh, okay. Mm -hmm. Okay. Or screen writer. I don't know which one is right. I will write it for you. Yeah, of course. There are many workers. Well, there are many people who is working in some companies. Companies that those companies are, for example, from the United States. And they, when they're hiding, hiding the, the people, they're asking if you speak English, your level of English. And that's why it's really important to know about it. And that's why I'm in, that, in, the, in this course too, because I want to improve my, my pronunciation, everything. Hey, Raul, say there are people who are, because people is plural, okay? Okay. There are some people who are working. You say who is working. Okay. So the, the second question is, what did you want to be as a child? Of course. <laughs> <laughs> it's a good it is a <laughs> it's a good idea. Oh, Chris, a just good just idea. for the papers. <laughs> Of course, no. Ah, for yeah. Love. The may of love. <laughs> no, no, no. Not for love because you will be disappointed. Uh -uh, just kidding. <laughs> <laughs> DJ, where is, your, where is your dream job? My dream job is to, to be a psychology researcher and also a singer. I have music on Spotify. Did you know that? Really? You yeah. look like a singer. I look like, <laughs> I look like a <laughs> girl every night. Don't say yeah. that. <laughs> You're lying. Oh, no, no. No. <laughs> <laughs> and I have a YouTube channel as well. So I'm going to share all of that with you later. Not right now. I don't think it's the moment. But you okay. are. Okay. Yeah, yeah. Don't be shy. <laughs> Sorry? Don't, don't be shy. <laughs> I am kind of shy. Because you know what? There was one of your classmates told me, I have seen you before. And I was like, well, okay, where? On YouTube. I'm a Martist. <laughs> you on, saw YouTube. Me on YouTube. <laughs> was like, yeah, because I was watching something uh, English related. And then I saw you and I was like, oh, great. First time it happens to me. So good, good. Uh, <laughs> but no, Would in you... my YouTube channel, I teach English. Well, some tips. Tips, not English. Okay. Mm -hmm. Sorry, Carlos, you were saying something? Yeah, uh, the name of the of your channel? Uh, it's called Josie si Aprende English because of my name, Josie. Josie, <laughs> <Yossi. Yossi. laughs> <Yossi. laughs> you're very creative. Yeah. No, my Yo. friend is a mar. He studied marketing, so he suggested that name. I'm not gonna take credit for it. I'm gonna uh, send it to you. Josie si Aprende mm. English, like that. Sounds good. I like it. Yeah. Right. Awesome. Yeah. Look it up. Subscribe, please. <laughs> Leave something in the comments. No, I'm kidding. Share <laughs> <laughs> hey, with your friends. <laughs> share with your friends. And now. Subscribe like you. <laughs> subscribe. <laughs> Invite me to a coffee. Click below to subscribe. Hit the, the bell. No. <laughs> <laughs> so typical. Good teacher. Yeah. No, no, I'm working right now. Never mind. <laughs> okay. No, go ahead. Okay. Go ahead. I'll let you talk and practice. Okay. Ah. What jobs you can think of? Mm, I have no idea, uh, no. but maybe, no, 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 worse, worse job, what could be, maybe, you know, the no, I... hand cleaner? What? Septic, septic tank cleaner? What oh. is that? 
Uh, you know, you have your bathroom, right? And the water that goes down the drain and they clean that. Uh, I think that's one of the worst jobs. Mm. <laughs> you feel me, right? Yeah, that would be one. Yep. Yeah. Best idea that if we can improve our English, they could fail. They, they should. They should. We don't have more. problems. <laughs> <laughs> they should. <laughs> they should. Yeah. Yeah. What are we talking about? <laughs> when we have we... to speak in English in our job. Oh, you guys can because... have a conversation already. Yeah, we have been talking about, uh, well, these two girls were uh, saying me that Telling me? Uh, they have some customers that only speak English, they didn't uh, speak Spanish. So they, uh, Leila and Karina, made a lot of effort to explain everything to these customers. And they understood you? <laughs> Most of I them. think so. <laughs> Great job. No, you guys can convey messages, ideas. You, I mean, it's not advanced English, but you can speak already. So that works. That's something. It doesn't mean you don't need to improve, but you can already have a conversation. So that's good. You should be happy. Yes. <laughs> yes, yeah. It's hard. Yeah. We're going to go back now. Like being okay. in your town, but... There it is. <laughs> yeah. All righty. <laughs> I know. Did you have fun? Yes. Yeah. Okay. Tell me quickly, just tell me yes. the title. What did you want to be as a child? Don't don't give me a whole sentence. Just say Photographer, that is something. A secretary. A secretary. <laughs> really? Famous was, astronaut. I want to be a, a, a soldier. Soldier. Bank cashier. An Bank cashier. An architect. 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 Who said astronaut? Who said astronaut? Yeah, astronaut. Oh, really? That's interesting. Okay, now what is your dream job now? If we are talking about job titles, just the job title. Go ahead. Like a business owner. Oh, okay. Uh, owner. Movie Engineer. script writer. Great. Wow. Engineer. <laughs> Engineer. What did you say, Carlo? Inventor. An inventor. Okay. I Having my know. own business. Entrepreneur. You can say that. What else? Leila, Jose. I haven't heard you. Gerardo. Traveler. <laughs> oh, yeah. Sounds I like fun. to be a doctor. Doctor, oh, okay. Now I'm not going to ask you what your current job is, but <laughs> no, I'm kidding. So that's, <laughs> that's it. I hope you enjoy your current job anyway, and that you know you can kind of get close to what you wanted to be as a child, or uh, to what you want to be now. Okay. Uh, do you have any questions? Mm. No. No. Okay. No, nope, all good. Either. All right. Thank you very much, guys. I will see you again tomorrow. Okay. Thank you. Okay. Okay. Thank, Thank you. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. Thank you. Bye, everybody. Bye-bye.